is a mat. In addition, grab a light to the weight or some water bottles that you can use. And then we will use a ball for the lap strap. So if you don't have a ball, um, you can just grab like a little pillow, roll with a towel, whatever you can make happen. So we are going to set the ball aside to start. Come lay down on our back. Legs come up in the air. Arms come up as well. We take passe abs with the chest wide. So you draw one knee in and open the arms at the same time. Alternate each time. That's it. Now the upper body, we have a soft bend in the elbows. We're just opening and squeezing in. Draw the belly button into the spine. We want the lower back to stay glued to the mat. Knees bend, arms up. Slowly extend one leg. Weight to the forehead and switch. That's it. Again, double check that lower back is staying glued to the mat. A little quicker. We go. It's out. In. That's it. And you can extend this leg as high or as low as you want. And think about squeezing the elbows into each other for tricep work. Now, leg speed up. It's out. That's it. If that was too crazy, just stay with the tempo we were at. You have four, three, arms and legs back up, passe, open, passe, switch. That's it. So I'm drawing one toe down the leg. You got it. Let's find eight more here. Are your abs feeling? Ooh, I'm feeling it for sure. We have four. Legs bend. Slowly extend. Bring it in. Other side. We're just circling through everything we did again. You got it. One more practice tempo. A little quicker, please. Let's go. It's out. In. We are building up one more time. Now, if you love this tempo, I want you to hang out here, okay? If you want a little bit more, we speed it up. Let's go. It's out. Switch. All right, double check. Lower back glute, right? We don't want that talking to us. If you find it starting to come up, ditch the weight. Take your hands and triangle under the tailbone. Eight more. Hey, we're almost done with our first track. Let's go, let's go, four. Last one, and bring it all the way up. Keep one weight, if you're feeling feisty. Coming on to all fours here. Weight in one hand, extend the opposite leg, lift the elbow. We extend as we lift the leg. Extend and down. That's it. Square off the shoulders and the hips. Squeezing into the back of the arm. We got it. Pulse it up. Pulse. Right here. Little pulse. Little squeeze into the back of the arm. Now feel that core stabilizing you. Arm comes forward. We reach, pull it in. Reach and in. Yep. That's it. It's like you're reaching out, pulling something toward you. Core is still strong, right? We are not sinking into that lower back. How are we doing? Four more here. Three. All right, let's get feisty. Pulse it out. Little lift. Lift. Right here. Now remember, you can totally ditch that weight at any point and go it out. You got it. Small little change. Palm to the floor. Pulse. Lift. Soften that supporting elbow. Come on. Eight. Seven. Six. Let's go. Let's go. 
and release. All right, we are going to the other side. I'm going to turn around so you can see my arm. You can just switch it out for me. So raise out your quadruped, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, and send back the elbow. Let's go. Lift and down. Lift. Now challenge yourself to keep from shoulder to elbow in the same place. We are just extending to it. Yep. Little pulses, little pulse. Pulse. That's it. Stay strong. We're not collapsing into that supporting arm. Four, three, arm comes front, we pull front. Pull. Reach and pull. You should be feeling that core look crazy right now. Eight more right here. How are we doing? Remember, you can sit that weight down. You don't need to do what feels best in your body. Pulse it out. We go. Pulse. Little lift. Stabilize through the core. Don't sink into the lower back. Eight more here. But we keep these pulses going. One little change. Palm to ceiling. That's it. Come on, you are so close. Eight more. Then we have one more track. Let's go for three, two, and release. <sighs> okay. Woo. Grab your ball and your weights. So ball comes right at the base of the tailbone, right here, kind of shimmy it in. Wait to grab on, slowly lean back, little bicep curl, and bring it up. One more slow. Single time, let's go. Lean and lift. Now my spine is long and straight. I am tucking my chin slightly as I lean back, so I'm not straining my neck trying to look at the ceiling. Next one, we pull back. Just little pull, pull. Open through the chest. Keep the elbows lifted. That's it. Working into those biceps. Three, two, sit it up. Arms to first. Lean back. Arms up, down, and lift. Lean, lift, lower. Now if you don't like the lift, just hold it back. Yep. All right, lean back, lift one arm, lean, switch. Now, if this is too crazy, of course we can ditch those weights. And if you need an assist, you can bring the hands behind the thighs, working right here, okay? You can. Could you take them together? We have eight. Woo! Now, this position is in front of your face. So think that you're trying to bring the biceps toward the ears. One more, and bring it up. We are gonna do all that one more time. Have a little extra to the end, and you're done. Palms to ceiling, lean back slow, curl, and lift. Again. Now that ball that you have is a little acidic. Okay, so that should feel nice to have. Single time we go. Back, and in. Your elbows high here for maximum bicep benefit. That sounded a little silly, but it's true, y'all. Hold it back. Little pull. Pull. That's it. Lift those elbows up. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Gaze is right in front of you. What are you looking at? You've got three, two, arms to first. Lean back and hold. Arms up down, and is, yes. All right, lean back, one arm left, lift, switch. Now I want you to feel your core turning on as you bring that arm up. It's working, right? You want a little more? Two arms, please. Take it or leave it. You can stay with one arm at a time. You got it. Four. Three. 
Next one, stay back. We pulse. Now you can stay here, you can bring those arms to the front, you can ditch the weights all together. You decide. If you've got those weights, we all keep the pulse, but little arm switches. So one in front and switch. Woo! This is your final change. Oh, you got this. Let's go, let's go. Eight, seven. Stay strong. Yes, we can. And release. All right, set those weights down. Get rid of the ball. Take the hands behind and just open up. Maybe you drop the head back. A little release to the front of the body. And slowly bringing yourself back up. I'm going to turn to face you. Let's stretch out the upper body a little bit. One arm across the body. Drop the shoulder. Pull it toward you either above or below the elbow. Nice little release here. And switch it out. Alright, how do you feel? Which one burns the most? I'm, I'm having a hard time. I felt them all. That last one was really long. But, uh, those bird dogs were no joke either. Alright, take one arm, let it fall in the middle of the back. Gently press down. And switch to the other side. And if you like this workout, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel. We put out new videos every single fitness Friday, right? So open up thumbs up. Rotate those thumbs down, press back. And then interlace the fingers behind, lift the chest. Lifting the arms up behind you if that feels good. And release down, roll the shoulders. And thank you so much for joining me today. I so appreciate you being here with me. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We put out new videos every single Fitness Friday. And I will see you next time at the bar.